Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today, especially you, Michael. Michael sent in this clip right here. Europe High Speed Rail. Intense! Edition. Uh, so, I'm very interested in this. I haven't reacted to any high speed rail, surprisingly. So, this should be very interesting. And this is the Intense Edition by Daniel. Daniel himself. Check him out, link down below. Come on, zoom out. Let's do it. Holy shit. What is he doing? Oh my god. Is he trying to die? That was insane. Clearly in Germany. What a maniac. How fast were we going? Oh. Whoa, dude. The noise. The noise. Is that caused by, like, the ripple in the cars? Like, between the cars or these poles? There's a noise like a freaking laser gun. And then that vortex of wind behind the car. Or behind the last car. The caboose. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, yes. Yes. This would be my hobby if I lived in Europe. What the hell? The different noises are insane. That one was a, an alien spacecraft. So smooth. Okay, you should not do this, but what if you put a GoPro on the tracks? Like, like... Wow. They're not very long. I thought, I would have thought the trains were longer. They're fast. Wow. I mean, I guess they are pretty long. They're just going by so fast that they look short, but they're also not that long. Like over here in America, cargo trains that are carrying all sorts of stuff. They're forever long. Like literally, they're going 10 times slower than this, but they are like a mile long. Okay, a little bit of an older one, I think. That was kind of odd how it had like a, it's like this train is towing this train. Definitely not going super fast. Cool. Now that's a pretty long train. <laughs> oh, shit. This is mesmerizing. Whoa. Look at this space age train station. Whoa. That one's fast. <laughs> I love my commentary. That one is fast. That one was a little bit slower. And this one is faster. Oh, that one's 
That one's fast, okay? Damn. It's scary when you're in an enclosed area like that, that small, and something that fast comes through. Like, damn. That's intense. This is the intense edition after all. One more. What was that? This one's like a freaking roller coaster. Damn! Yeah, I would be right here among these people. Or on the train. Just taking it back and forth. <laughs> that would be me. I did also have this clip, I don't know. I found a little short I wanted to watch. It said it's the fastest train in Europe. It might be the cheapest. Cool. That was really cool. Hmm. I'm looking up like a high-speed rail map, you know what I mean? I want to know a little bit more. This video is pretty short. I'm trying to learn a little bit more. So these are the operational high-speed lines in Europe. Oh, this shows you how fast they go. That's awesome. So the purple ones are the fastest. Oh, 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 oh. So I guess France has some of the fastest trains or the fastest trains. I had no idea. It's got the only purple lines on here going mostly to and from Paris or around there. But there's a whole lot of red lines, 270 to 300 kilometer per hour, going all through Spain, France, Germany, Italy, up into London. It's so cool. And it's all in Western Europe, not a whole lot going on in Eastern Europe. Not sure what the difference is here. Okay, these are the, these are the operators. Makes sense. Mostly kind of divided among countries. That makes sense. We got the ice in Germany. What's it? What is this? I don't know. It's kind of hard to read, to be honest, because the colors are pretty similar. There's so many damn colors over here. Like, there's multiple purple, multiple blue. So, I don't know. Ooh. And here are the current projects. So, we can sort by the fastest. So, there's quite a few that are going 300. Rome to Naples, Milan to Bologna, Bologna to Florence. It's crazy. These were being built in the 90s, even the 70s, and we don't have anything like it over here in America. Kind of pathetic, but that is really cool. I'll have to react to some more of that. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. I could just kind of like sit back and watch that all day. I absolutely would take my lawn chair out there and just watch the trains go by. I'm a simple man. I'll see you guys. Actually, have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys next week.